Welcome back to another video. I'm sitting in a Mazda 6 2.2 obviously, which we just recently assembled back together. It had uh, oil pressure problems and carbon cleaning, but the carbon cleaning is not relevant in this one. So this video is going to be about like how to diagnose, check tips, tricks, hints for the oil pressure on these sky actives, what to check, um, what numbers you should be seeing, what the values, the good one, the good values. So after we assembled the car back together, uh, I took it for a test drive, got it up to temps and then I checked the live data after obviously we changed the oil um, and I wasn't happy with the re results and I'll tell you in a bit why and that's why I say these test drives are necessary so even though what we've done, we've done the top end cleaning so we cleaned the, the cylinder head and we replaced the oil strainer as well and still the oil pressure is not as where I want it to be or where it's supposed to be um so yeah um then after like the owner uh, sent us the service history which is a little bit interesting as well which I, i'll talk later talk about later so basically i took it for a test drive tested it and between 70 and 80 degrees of celsius the engine oil uh, pressure is fine but when it gets over 85 degrees of uh, engine oil temperature then it is a bit funny so it, it's very close to 100 and it even goes below 100 which I'll show you on the scan tool and when we do the 2000 rpm and the 3500 rpm the 3500 rpm is fine but the 2000 is not fine and there is a slight difference when you do it between 70 and 80 degrees of celsius and when you do it over 85 degrees of celsius so yeah um, so now let me switch the camera and show you the live data and the readings of the engine oil pressure and I'll explain that um, what numbers you should be seeing or you want to see so here is the live data and as you can see engine oil temperature is 81 and the pressure is fluctuating quite a lot and it is on the lower side of the spectrum so i would say averaging 120 which is not good and if we do the 2000 rpm test it is around that 160 and 70 so that's not bad and now let's see a three and a half again it is hitting those numbers though that the 3 and the 60 and even though the oil the, the oil is brand new fresh oil and the, the but the thing is the, the hotter the oil gets the viscosity changes so it will be thinner and the oil pump will need to make more efforts to to pressurize it so to maintain the oil pressure now i'm going to to uh, warm the engine oil even further up so about 85 degrees maybe 87 and i'll show you uh, the values then now the oil temperature is 87 degrees and as you can see the oil pressure even falls below 100 kpa which is i don't want to obviously now have a look at the 2000 rpm test at this case or in at this point it is around 250 average let's say and let's check the three and a half thousand So yeah, that's holding it there where it's supposed to be. Now let me switch the camera and talk about or explain what we just seen. So as you could see, the idle oil temperature is not ideal, ideal neither the 2000 RPM. So the idle at that oil temp, it should be at least, I would say 170 ideally, that's what you want. And the 2000, it should be around 300 kPa or more because the, the the pcm will like put the car into like a safe mode so run at high oil temps uh, sorry oil pressures so the engine will have like a sufficient oil pressure for lubrication again now it can have three causes in our case we can eliminate 100 percent which is the oil because the oil is brand new fresh in the engine the further two is either the bearings the rod bearings the clearance is bigger because it got warm and that's why the oil pressure there can escape and cannot main the oil pump cannot maintain the sufficient oil pressure or the oil control um, valve solenoid which is in this case is in the rear of the engine just above the drive shaft um, so now let me tell that service history i want to tell, tell you um, so basically first or initially like years ago like maybe three four years ago it had the oil pressure switch replaced and also oil strainer cleaned then a year or two later, I assume the oil pressure problem came back 
then it had the oil strainer replaced and again after two years which we are at the present moment we've done the top end cleaning and replaced the strainer but only we after noticed that this service history so what i'm going to do first i'm going to swap that oil control solenoid because it is easier to remove than to drop the pen and then i mean not that easy but i just want to make sure or eliminate that possible fault or cause of the fault so i'm going to swap that uh, control solenoid for a brand new oem mazda one and see if the oil pressure will be the same if yes i will swap it back for the oil, like the original one and then then we will drop the oil pan again and um, like examine or check the 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 rod bearings and like our guess is obviously it's either the uh, the control solenoid valve or the rod bearings um, I may do a separate video how to remove and replace that on uh, oil control solenoid valve and maybe I can do like a separate video on the rod bearings as well but now um, let me show you how the ideal how the the good one or the good uh, oil pressure should behave or what what numbers you should be seeing so this one is a different car and as you can see the oil temp is at uh, 84 degrees and it is averaging around 150 kpa which is fine which is good and if i have the car till 2000 rpm it is averaging around that 170 180 and if i go about three and a half it is having 380 at average and now if i if i um even heat more the oil in the in the engine so about i believe 87 degrees so let me do that off camera and i'll call come back and show you what the those numbers will be and wh where it's supposed to be so now the oil temp is 89 degrees and as you can see the the pressure dropped a little bit uh, the reason is because the oil the hot the the warmer or hotter the oil is the the thinner it is so it the oil pump has like uh, more difficulty or like it has to make more efforts to pressurize the uh, oil for the same uh, pressure if that makes any sense but what i wanted to show you now let me do the 2000 rpm test again i'm at 2000 only and as you can see the oil pressure is about 300 kpa and if i do the three and a half thousand it gets to the same so now let me switch the camera and explain you that a little bit more so basically how you check the oil pressure on these 2.2 sky actives is that you do it uh, between 70 and 80 degrees at idle you should be seeing uh, at least around 160 average at 2000 rpm you should be seeing at least that between 160 180 kpa and at three and a half thousand rpm you should be seeing 360 at least kpa but then you need to warm the oil even more because the oil pressure uh, or the oil pump is controlled by the by the oil control solenoid and that puts uh, the car it's so called like a safety mode so when the oil temp is i believe above 85 degrees of celsius or maybe 87 the oil pump behaves differently and pressurizes the oil more um so when the oil temp is let's say about 87 degrees because i'm 100 percent sure if it is about 87 degrees it will do uh, act as i say so about 87 degrees of oil temp at idle you should be seeing at around 180 kpa already and if you rev it around 2000 rpm it will switch to like a higher oil pressure which is about 300 kpa as you just seen and even if you rev it further so three and a half thousand that you, then you should be seeing that 360 so that's the difference there so already at 2000 rpm it will switch to the like a higher kpa higher oil pressure the reason being because the oil gets thinner um and that's why it pressurizes it more so the oil gets everywhere where it's supposed to be so the lubrication is fine and you don't seize the engine also on this particular car you could see at idle at high oil temps the the temperature pressure was like a bit lower the reason being because it is heavily affected by the oil changes so we recommend getting the oil change every five six thousand miles or one year whichever comes first 
again the reason being as you drive the car the oil heats up degrades so it doesn't have that um, lubrication effect as it had when it was like br uh, brand new fresh oil so that's why the oil pressure can drop significantly and you can achieve like high oil pressures if you change the oil regularly so that's why the oil or the change of the oil is crucial is the key of every engine so yep yeah, that's what i'm going to do because this is the mazda from i don't know when i'm going to publish this video but this is the mazda from for me from yesterday's video the cx5 the red one where we done the inspection of the camshaft and it wasn't burned so this is that one the owner asked us to get the oil change done um, and yeah i just came back from the test drive and i managed to average uh, 62 mpg so even though he had the the carbon build up he was having 53 i believe if i remember correctly so now i can say it's like 8 10 miles per gallon increase which is it's not bad to be honest but yeah so again hopefully this video was somewhat interesting while we will learn something new again if so feel free to like us uh, share give us a comment leave super thanks if you can afford and don't forget to use my amazon affiliate link if you want to buy anything from the website from amazon i'll earn small commission from it if you use my link but yeah so thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the very next one take care and bye bye guys